So the kettlebell lateral swing. We know that with kettlebell movements, there is a massive dominance towards sagittal plane exercises. So it's really important that in order to maintain balance, that we also include some transverse and frontal plane movements. So the lateral swing ticks that box. We need to keep the hips in a nice stable position and we need to keep the spine organized throughout the entire movement. From there, we laterally swing the bell side to side, trying to stay as stable as we can through the spine and resist the rotation. This is a tremendous exercise to develop the um, integrity and the structural strength of the spine as we resist those rotational forces. So watch a number of reps. We start with the bell out in front. We hike the bell an inch off the ground. From there, we slide it in two to three inches and begin the lateral swing. From the side, So we have a lot of eccentric loading throughout that movement and um, what we need to be careful of is avoid hitting the bell off our body. So we need to find this really good hip hinge position and we have slight flexion at the knee joint. If we have excess flexion at the knee joint then the knees become a barrier to performing the movement. So keep this position so 10 to 15 degrees in the flexion as we actually perform the movement. So that's the kettlebell lateral swing.